finally, let's go ahead and do a review on Lil Uzi Vert. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV where we give you reviews and hip-hop news and today i'm gonna be doing a review on lil uzi vert's new album love is rage 2 don't forget to hit subscribe to black tv for more reviews and more reactions hit a like hit the notification bell to be notified for more reviews and reactions from me and in the comment section since this album been so anticipated. Tell me in the comment section, what is your favorite track off of this album? What is your least favorite? And did it match your expectations of Lil Uzi Vert's album? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Lil Uzi Vert, Love Is Rage 2. This, this has to be one of the most highly anticipated albums of 2017 and you know with that being said i i'm you know i haven't listened to any of his mixtapes or whatever that he recently came out because in the past in the social media Lil Uzi Vert was just complaining about his record label not releasing this album. Just He just wanted his album out, this and that. And recently, he just been dropping little bits and pieces of his mixtapes here and there. And I didn't want to listen to none of that until this album come out because I'm act I actually like EXO Tour Life. And with that being said, EXO Tour Life was a very good song. So I was really looking forward to this album. And with that being said, I mean, I know he can't rap, but you know, it's all right. But let's go ahead and check out the cover. The cover is okay. He has tape over his album. Uh, you know, he's holding up the peace sign and got a lot of other stuff in the background. I mean, it's, it's, it's it matches his persona, if, 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 that's, if that's hard to say. The number one thing I actually like about this album is his features. Even though he only has two features, Pharrell Williams and The Weeknd, I think that was a nice choice of him putting together. The song with him and The Weeknd is one of my favorite songs off the album. Even though The Weeknd is just, uh, he's just saying, I'm unfazed, I'm unfazed. And I know Lil Uzi Vert cannot rap. I know he cannot rap. He don't care about bars, but I just have to rate this project as for what it is. And just with that, I mean, some of the songs, you know, has a good vibe, a good mixtures of him doing melodies and him with rapping skills. And some are just, could have been just shorter. My favorite song off of this album is number eight, Neon Guts featuring Pharrell Williams. Like I said before in my like section, this is actually a dope collab to me because it seemed like Pharrell, Use what he is good at to apply what Lil Uzi Vert is good at. And them going back and forth on that track, I thought that was really dope and I had to put this on my playlist. Well, what I dislike about Love Is Rage 2 is, I, I know, I know, I know, Lil Uzi Vert can't rap. I know that. He don't want to rap. Wet like a squirtle. Walking around pigeon-toed. Pockets fat like Keenan. Which is a playoff Keenan from Keenan and Kale. And if you're gonna spit any kind of bars, they have to be at least decent. I mean, at least they better than 21 Savage's bars off of his Issa album. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And from start to finish, the album is, you know, it starts off real good from what it is, and then it just seems like it goes downhill as far as content-wise. The only songs that really have nice content on it is Dark Queen and I'ma say sauce it up, but it ain't even feelings mutual. But even that, this is out of 16 tracks. It don't really have no content on this album. My least favorite song on here is Early 20 Rager. Because it just sounds like he overused the reverb and, and, and auto-tune and he just put too much in it. And it, it, it after just listening to it, it just sound really, really irritating but let me go ahead and rate Lil Uzi Vert Love is Rage 2. I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10 just because when I first 
listen to it, I was really it's anticipating this to be a good, great album. And at first, in my first listen, it was pretty good. But the more and more I listened to it, it just seemed like it just fell off. And it's just only a couple of songs that has good replay value. So I'm gonna give Lose Very Love and Rage 2 a 5 out of 10. But what do you think of Lil Vert's new album? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think Lil Vert is a saint? Do you think he's Lucifer? Do you think he praised the devil? Do you think this is a great album? Did it meet your expectations? Leave a like, hit that notification bell to be notified for more reviews, hit, a hit that subscribe button, add me on social media and Twitter, Instagram, at Black Music, B-L-A-C-M-U-Z-I-C, -E and until next time on Black TV, I holla, yeah!